that. So I was saying we have, I've never seen any single company that sells um, headphones or any earpiece that uses this kind of connection, the optical cable type. They always sell mini jacks. So, you know, just keeping it open for you guys, for those who are going to use this case maybe as maybe a media center. So you're going to keep it close to your sound system, which is probably at the front next to your TV. So that's great for connecting to a, a you know, a sound system. But if you're not, if this is strictly for gaming, if this is strictly for you, maybe you're going to just lock yourself in your room and, you know, put your headphones on, no one disturb me. And yeah, that's, these are your options right there. And basically, the green one right there is what you want to start off with. This is usually the, like um, the, the yeah the front facing ones, and then you have the you have the microphone on there, and this is usually for the sub I think. Either that one or the black one is usually for the sub, and then you got your like your left and your right. No, sorry, yeah you got your your back rearmost speakers and then the side speakers. So it's a nice seven point one over there. Although it says eight channel HD audio. Eight meaning you know at least you get that you get the you know the the the, the microphone over there so that's a seven point one right there. Or if you could get clever, maybe you could put a seven point two. Maybe get like a like a, a, a dual splitting Y cable mm -hmm. that goes into your sub and then maybe split into two subs and you get a seven point two configuration right there. Right. So that's cool. Next, moving on, we've got moving on. We've got yeah the uh, debug display. This usually t um, gives you the code for whatever's wrong with your you know whatever's wrong with your motherboard, whatever's happening if you haven't connected your power properly or the RAM is not quite in properly, or the the CPU is totally missing. Although if the CPU is missing, I don't think it would come on at all. It won't show you anything because and it's like hey I don't have a brain. What am I supposed to think with? All right so. Yeah, it gives you like a code maybe zero three means you know your 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 power connection is not okay you know so it's really useful for instead of the the usual sound sort of the um the usual sound uh notifications that we get because sometimes you you just have to go to google and check oh what does beeping real quick mean mm -hmm. so you can just you know open your manual see what number three means and is is that fix it up real quick what's um sasa eight Oh yeah, eight SATA three ports. Alright, yeah, I missed that out, sorry. We got eight SATA three ports. SATA three, of course, being the new uh standard for SATA serial ATA. Serial ATA really is um where you connect your the new types of mother uh the new types of um so, optical drives yeah. and um, hard drives and SSDs, that's where you connect them. Oh, okay. So these 3.0s, they, I mean, sorry, the, yeah, this the SATA 3 supports um, this the 6 gigabyte per second, I think. Yeah, the 6 gigabyte per second transfer rate. So these, all of these are like down with, I mean, you can connect them anywhere. But they got the color-coded ones over there, which would be great for you to start with. If you're going to con connect your, um, the primary um, hard drive, you want to connect on one of these color-coded ones over here. All right, so I think um, we've got a few more information here about different features of this case. I mean, motherboard. Yeah, we'll just go over it through quickly. Ooh, but six I think six fan connectors. Yeah, so we got like six <laughs> fan connectors. Um, you can connect like if you if you if you're the fan crazy type of guy, you'd want like LEDs and whatnot, and so you know, you are like your case is real beast, and you want everything to be shining and. Everything is just going round, so that's great for you. You can support up to six fans on that. Some cases, the only only thing they need is just a Molex um, uh, Molex connection from your power supply, and then they can they can um, they can um, support the the fans on themselves. Like in my case, you know, only just needs a Molex connector, and it powers the fans. But this this is great because it has six fans connectors which means that they will all be controlled by the computer so when the computer is hot they will automatically go faster but when the seat where the case is controlling the fans then that means you manually would have to control you know if you wanted to go up or if you wanted to go down so that's right and then you got your quick buttons here which shows the un onboard power reset, the clear CMOS buttons, the dual bias dip switch and you got your voltage read points 
just to go over them, go over them quickly, your onboard power reset is um, does what every power and the reset button does. Um, the clear CMOS buttons, that's when maybe you're getting errors and you're getting all kinds of nonsense on your computer and you just want to start again. So you clear your CMOS and then you go, um, yeah, you go set the dates and everything again. It's almost like starting afresh. So mm. yeah, clear your CMOS Go with question. that button. Um, you know this, this pretty much, this motherboard has its own BIOS, right? Yeah. So um, in a way, does two that bias. mean, oh yeah, two BIOS, mm. to correct myself. Does that mean even if you're still connected up and without no CPU, would it, do, would it, would it just automatically go to the BIOS or would it not even come on without a CPU? It won't even come on. Yeah. Um, this is from experience and I've seen this before. Um, motherboards will not, n nothing will come on. If you connect, if mm. you, if you have like, I know it's, it's a really anxious feeling when you, you've just bought your new PC. Mm. Cause I have, I have seen the BIOS and it looks pretty neat for just, yeah, the BIOS, which is not really meant to be, you know, look fancy looking and complicated, you know, it's just meant to be like, you know, starting up. But I've seen the BIOS on this left, but yeah, as you're saying, about the CPU, yeah. So can't. yeah, without, without the CPU, you won't even get to, it won't even come on. You're gonna, you're gonna connect. You're gonna connect everything up. You're gonna connect the power. You're gonna connect your monitor. You're gonna connect everything up, mm. and you're expecting to see, oh, my computer coming on for the first time, but it's not. Without the CPU, okay. without it, just it being just this, okay. what you are seeing right here, just this, it won't give you anything. It what won't about, even beep. What about if it was a different scenario? So we've got everything, CPU, um, and power supply. We turn it on, but there's no RAM. Would it go on? It would go on. Oh. Yes, you would. You won't see anything though because the computer has checked that it does not have a RAM. So yeah. a computer will not allow itself to go on and do something yeah. without RAM. So what happens is it will beep and you will see on a debug here, it will give you a number for whatever it means, the number for whatever it, yeah, the number that it uses to mean that you yeah you don't have any RAM yeah. or the RAM is not properly inserted. So you get the number, the number that means for, the number for RAM which I don't know, you know, maybe Gigabyte have that exclusive to themselves. Maybe it's not, you know, international. Maybe some another number could mean another another thing for another, you know, um, motherboard. But yeah, basically that's what I mean. You get mm -hmm. a number there to show you there's an error, and you get beeps if you've connected the a speaker to the to the motherboard.